real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Spoilers, Wesker! Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh. I can't. Hold on. Oh. Okay, welcome back everybody to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero, and Rebecca's in trouble. Uh, we actually got a good save her, and it shows us right there on the map where exactly she's at, and it's a bit confusing your first time playing to find out where she's at, but I already know, so I'll show you the way. Yeah, I'm, Rebecca's gonna keep calling you on the radio to help. You are timed! There's no timer on the screen, but you are timed here, so you gotta hurry. So, yeah, don't dilly-dally. Also, monkeys! So this music is really good. The, the music in Zero is actually pretty nice. I don't like every track, but there's tracks... It's usually the panic tracks that sound the best. And I think I just got poisoned. Damn it. Alright, I'm coming over here real quick just to get some... Ammo! Look at that, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I'm poisoned. Shit. Alright, let's kill this guy real quick. Get the shotgun ammo back here. Also, that guy on the ground is alive. You can see him moving his head. That's all you know if, zo if zombies on the ground are alive. They're like tracking you. Alright, we gotta hurry. Get out of the way. This is so good. Yeah, I don't care about poison. I could just cure it. There should be blue herbs over here somewhere, though. So we're all good. And that guy's finally gonna get up. I think. Well, he should have, but maybe on my way back he'll get up. Okay, and if we go down here, what you saw is we'll be able to pass now. It's just green herbs. Damn. It sucks this is not outbreak. I can't have George convert those into <laughs> antidotes. Oh no! Get away! Alright. Yes, Rebecca is in this room. So yeah, if you don't hurry, she will die. I'm not sure how much time you have, but you are time. Rebecca. Hang on. I'll pull you up. Thank you. Don't mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca. Over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? 
Over. Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> Answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Jeez. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. I remember this CGI cutscene like blew everyone's minds back when this came out. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. In the end, only four of us survived. Only, there was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Do it! Did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. Kind of screwed up how stuff like that does happen in real life. But I'm not going to get into that. Alright. Um... My god, am I in danger? I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, damn it. Let's split up. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to save or something because this it's not good. I know there's a blue herb. Somewhere down here. Uh speaking of Billy's old backstory there, I don't think he really had any involvement in it. Uh if I remember correctly in the Umbrella Chronicles there is a file you could get that basically is like a journalist who, who is like digging into like his little the, the little incident that happened and it, it kind of points out that you know that they needed somebody to blame and that Billy really didn't do anything and if you saw in that cutscene he did say stop I mean he wasn't taking any part of it and I think I'm gonna restart because, as you see, these things are stupidly annoying. They they just combo you. Look at that. Oh dang, it really has a lot of health. But yeah, I died on purpose just to show you how fast they'll kill you. They don't screw around. Uh, but yeah, we need to get cured right away. I don't want to waste too much health. 
Hopefully this monkey doesn't give me any problems. But it usually does. Stupid idiot. Well, no way I'm taking Rebecca out right now. Maybe there's one in here? I don't know. Nope. Maybe in the other room? This sucks! <laughs> Why do I have to get poisoned now? Such garbage. Some handgun ammo and some shotgun ammo. I now need to get cured, man. Yeah, I know. I need me some blue herb. Come on, blue herb, where are you? Oh, there's some shells right there for the gradient launcher. But that's not gonna cure our poison. Come on. We need blue herbs, blue herbs, blue herbs. We need blue herbs. Where are the blue herbs? Oh, Get away! If I can't find any, I'm probably gonna have to restart because the only place I can think of where there's blue herbs is the infirmary, and that infirmary room, or the the area leading to it, is filled with jerks. It's filled with these annoying little shits. And monkeys. Man, I don't hate monkeys at all, but these monkeys... Ugh. Uh, they're actually called Eliminators. Appropriate name, I guess. Oh, there was one here. Oh. Let's see, what health am I at? I'll see you guys back at the spot. Alright, so I forgot to record me killing these stupid idiots, but yeah. Just guess just how it went. It went stupid. Well, I think Billy got hit once. I got hit like a few times. After healing. <sighs> so annoying. Alright. Give Rebecca the ink ribbons real quick. I'm pretty sure Billy's already like on danger after that stupid incident. Oh no, he's just on caution. Guess that's not too bad. Can carry it? What the hell? I'll have Rebecca use the other one. There we go. Now we're in better condition. I mean, Belly's still in caution, but yeah, he could take it. Huh. At least we got real. Stupid freaking uh, monkeys. Yeah, but I mean, you pretty much have to down here. Otherwise, they're just gonna annoy the crap out of you. Okay, so there's some handgun ammo over here. 
And there's something in this corner. What is, the hell is it? It's like a fire hydrant. Covered in webs. I don't know. And we got another puzzle here. A pretty intricate one if you don't know what to do. It's pretty um, confusing. Sort of. <laughs> it, it, it's easy but sort of confusing. Six souls imprisoned within the chains of death rekindled the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. So as you can see there's many uh, animals on display. And it said, rekindle the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. So, I mean, just guess what you have to do. My sharp wits allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. And as you can see on the pedestal, it says, the strong prey upon the weaker. So it's a food chain puzzle, basically. I am the king of all. I survey. No creature could escape my grasp. So you think that would be, this would, guy would be the final one, but he's not. Trust me, that, that's what always confused me the first time I played, I always liked him last. I stand tall on the earth, with horns proudly displayed. This would be the first dude we light up. Obviously it's just a deer. The next one would be be uh, not the horse but the wolf even the greatest horned beast as it says <laughs> little hint so wolf the next one would be Rebecca move the horse no amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs so yeah I could run faster than the wolf There you go. Now we check out the Jaguar. No creature can escape my grasp. And then there's a snake. But as it says, I creep up on my victims in legless silence and conquer even the mightiest of kings with my poison. So that means he could triumph over the jaguar. And of course the last one is... I dance freely through the air capturing a legless prey. I think that's a hawk. <laughs> I don't know. But yep, he's the last one. And there you go, the gate opens. Yeah, it could, you could easily get confused with the wording, but if you, you know, just read it more carefully and you'll, I'll go alone. you'll get it. Roger. I'm gonna have Rebecca stay there. I don't know if there's zombies in here, I can't remember. No, there isn't, okay. Ransacked. Who would sleep down here? Look. It's a bed, the sheets are stained with blood. It's gross. Okay. Wasn't there a gasoline tank I saw somewhere around here? I can't remember. And if we look here, we'll find a Unity tablet, which is actually pretty useful. Fire. Purely decorative. Yeah, no kidding. Like, where's the... <laughs> Where would it go? We're in a basement. I mean, technically, it still could go out, but... It's just weird. Unity tablet. Depicting the night, the word Unity is inscribed. Uh, we haven't really found a place to use this yet, but we will in a few. Yeah, there's some alcohol bottles there, but... Don't really have our gas cans. So there's really no point.
There's a room down here we could check. But there's a few zombies, I think. There's a few zombies in here, I think. Yep. A little too close to comfort, if you ask me. But, we'll try. And there's a file. <laughs> Management trainee's diary. What is it that Director Marcus is researching all the time? And what's with his weird interest in leeches? <laughs> Interest seems more like love at times. Rumor has it that there's something dangerous about those leeches. Is it true that when Dennis just touched one, he got ill with a fever? Again today, there were those horrible moans beyond that door. <laughs> Let sleeping dogs lie. No way I'll go near them. Even if the director ordered me, I don't want to end up like Dennis. That poor bastard. Scratching and scratching. Makes me itch, jost, watching him. Must maybe go if can, but how? Oh, wow. Dennis gone, I go hungry. Help, <laughs> mom. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sad how they start to lose their sanity. I'm gonna blow this guy's head off. Get out of here. Maybe it wasn't worth blowing his head off because there's nothing here. Oh, well, at least I killed him before he grabbed me. Mattress and seats are both missing. Okay. Alright, there was nothing there. That was stupidly pointless. I'm going to put this tablet back up on the first floor of the training facility because we don't, we don't need it right now. And it's just more convenient if we put it up there. There's like no shortcut up to the, you know, the main hall or anything. This is the only way to get back up, unfortunately. Just hope I don't run into zombies in this room, get bit. There is zombies here. Oh, got the dodge, man, the doge. Actually, I'll go show where we need to use the tablet instead of just leaving it. May as well, I mean, we're already here. Put my gun run a little faster. Yeah, there's a there's another um, bar door up here with knights. If you remember correctly, there's also plague crawlers here now. They're not too dangerous. They're pretty stupid. But yeah, over here. We can actually go in here now. It's a little observatory. No handgun ammo there, okay, well. Go over here, we can't go to the door. Doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. So yeah. You go down here though. There's this. Pretty obvious. <laughs> the three fundamental principles of the Umbrella Corporation. If you remember that, it was back on a piece of paper. And it was unity, obedience, and... Uh, hmm, forgot the last one. <laughs> Discipline. There you go. Discipline, obedience, and unity. And that's where they go. So we still need two more. 
And that's what I think we're going to be doing in this episode. It's going to be finding those... Uh, those tablets. Oh, what the hell? Screw you! That was enough to put me in orange caution. Damn it. Come on, man. Now I have to look at Billy holding his side again. You're gonna see that a lot in this game. Because it's so easy to get injured. Because of the butthole enemies in this game. Oh, there's the gas can. Guess we can make more of the while we're at it. We're gonna need some, anyways. Hopefully I can dodge these zombies here. Kinda have to get this guy to roll out. Oh no! Oh man, no! I didn't know that guy was coming at me. Ugh. What a bunch of buttholes, dude. Freaking jerks. Alright. Go back down to Rebecca, make some Molotovs. Do we have room? No, we don't. <laughs> can still make some though. Change with Rebecca real quick. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's good enough. I don't think we're gonna need the gasoline jug anymore at this point. I don't know if there's any more alcohol bottles I missed. Doubt it. It's a nine. Okay. So yeah, I'll just drop it right now. Just drop the jug here. We we'll need it. gonna go back to that room with the what is it I don't know but it had a bunch of guns in it a little like battle area testing area I'll go check over there yeah All right, I'll have Rebecca go first I, I, I just don't trust these spiders I really don't so she's gonna go first and there is something in here that we could get. It's optional, but it's, it's good if we get it. Interesting. Uh, let's go around. They won't bother us for right now. They're eating one of their friends, actually. Yeah, we get a locker key. Oh, watch out. I'll book it. Go, go, go. Alright, now Billy's turn. Let's hope we don't get hit. 
Oh, sh stupid. Oh, my God. What an annoying ass. Better not die on the way back, I swear to God. Oh. This way. Okay. I need help bad. Alright, well, at least I got some ammo. Alright, so that locker key actually goes to this locker right here. I'll find like a little attache case in here. Or durillium, durillium case, whatever, however you say that. <laughs> Examine it. Locked by a combination lock. Looking closely, you notice the numbers 385 written on the corner. Yeah, this thing just gives it to you, pretty much. There we go. Yay. And now we got handgun parts. A set of various parts consisting of a scope and a scope mount. Equipping these on a handgun will greatly increase the gun's firing precision. Yep. That's what it's for. So, combine it with Billy's handgun. Custom to bust them. Greater accuracy. This These modifications should make it easier to hit a target's weak point. I think it's just... For better headshot, uh, critical chances, pretty much. Uh, we're gonna exchange um, grenade launcher with Billy. There's also some handgun, I mean, not handgun, uh, magnum ammo here. Guess how much there is, though? Yeah. <laughs> It's so dumb. It's just one bullet. Yeah. Boost several times. What? Wait a minute. What did it say? Boost se both several times the stopping power of ordinary handgun bullets. Of course. We don't even find the handgun until like a little bit. I mean the Magnum handgun until a little bit later. So. Yeah. They just start giving us this for some reason. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I'll check it out. Roger. Billy's gonna go. Not you, Rebecca. Even though Billy's close to death. This part we gotta use uh, these little switches here to open the gates, it's because as you can see, there's something down there. So we'll open the le the left first. There really is no order to this. I think it's just random. It's pretty much guesswork. Acid grenades, alright. Uh, these acid grenades are good for lots of enemies, but more importantly, the enemy we're about to face right now. Alright. that do anything? <laughs> okay, uh, press left again. Is this here? I don't. I don't know. Press left again. There you go. As you can see, our item is in there. But first, you gotta press this button. Battle sequence initiated. Battle sequence initiated. Great. Yep. 
These are hunters. Pretty annoying enemy. Did I get him? There you go. Yeah, as you saw, took no damage there. They're both dead. Acid chill. Destroy them. Either one or two shots. I don't know. Might it's probably took two because this is hard. And look at that, it's another key. I can't pick it up though. <laughs> I mean we really don't need the acid shells anymore, so we could leave them here. Take the key and let's see what key it is. Let's examine it. Nothing on the front. On the back, it's inscribed with the water design. Hey! There is a water door. And there's only one water door, actually. So. This way. Okay. Let's go back to that. Uh, again, I'm gonna want one to go at a time. So, Billy, go first, please. Exactly why I wanted him to go first. Ah, uh, see you guys back at the spot. All right, now we're back. Hopefully, I'll make it through without getting hit this time. Stupid spiders! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, I could try to bait him back here. All right, that's good enough. Get away. Alright, let's get Re Rebecca over here. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Are you serious? Follow me. Okay. Oh my god. That is so stupid! Well, at least he's still in orange caution, but I'm sure he's close to danger now. Oh, that's so dumb. So, so dumb. Oh, well, whatever. You got the water key, and we made it through there. So let's go. Alright, so... Uh, I decided to leave Rebecca's handgun there because, I mean, we don't really need more than one handgun. So we're just going to use Billy's. Uh, I believe I left a herb down here. Yeah, Billy could use it. Why not? We're not going to really come back here anyways. There you go. At least put him in somewhat good health. Uh, ever idle. Don't want to waste any shotgun ammo on zombos. Too close. Rebecca! Go ahead, let Rebecca just fire at least one shot. There we go. Nice. Oh crap, Rebecca's getting confused. I'm like, no. Oh 
Okay. Uh, could go ahead and leave one of the tablets here. I still have that tablet. Uh, yeah, because this is a. I had to restart. I forgot. But uh, we'll give her up back at the. the. the water key. Have uh, Billy go and put the tablet in just to get it out of the way and save space. I'll check it out. Okay. Just have Rebecca wait there. Try to avoid the play crawlers again. Don't get hit by them. I usually never do, but I don't know what happened when I went through here when I was recording. It just. Dude just jumped at me. And of course, I got it. It's coming out. Come on. Stupid. Okay. So dumb. So so dumb. Hate it. All right. Now we could go in here. Yeah, let's throw it away. I'm gonna want to take our Molotovs out, actually, and tell Billy I'll to stay. Because there's a lead zombie in this room, and we're gonna want to kill him right away. With these Molotovs here. There we go, he's dead. Takes quite a few. Actually, it takes less if he's in his leech form, but it's more safer just to kill him right away. Hmm. Guess we could go over here and check out this hall. I believe this is another hall where Elite Zombie could be, so careful. Of course there is. This is hard mode. Why wouldn't there be? I'm sure he's gonna spawn once I like, come right back out. There's some goodies in here actually. Um, some handgun ammo, first aid spray, yeah. Some good stuff look red herb well just the red herb by itself but still I mean that that, that goes a long way and an alcohol bottle it's literal bone fragments I wonder if they're human bones I don't know Rebecca right red herb I'm gonna take care of the leaf zombie outside. I'm sure he spawned by now. <laughs> oh crap, he's already in leech form. Oh my god, what a jerk off. Oh. Yeah. Hurt me pretty bad, but could have went worse. I could have been put into danger. Seriously though, man, what jerk. <laughs> there you go, these halls are much more safer now.
That one's some kind of piano bar. I see. <laughs> Covered in dust, but it looks playable. Let's play the piano. But that goes kind of out of key. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca can't really play the piano uh, but we do need to play it actually but just can't play it with Rebecca gotta play with Billy cuz Billy knows how to play it. you know he apparently knows how to read sheet music too I sure as hell don't actually we want to go in here first this little I think they said broadcast room <laughs> Yeah, there's actually another leech zombie in here, but we don't have to kill him. It's not that dangerous. Lots of film. Okay, yeah. Yes, I know it's used for broadcasting. Let's get the vice handle. Let's get out of here! Oh! Alright, good. There you go, we don't have to go back in there ever again. Now we can have Billy play the piano because... I don't know, he could just play it. Hold on. No, no. I want to check my inventory. Leave those Molotovs on the floor. Let's hear these sweet tunes. Sweet melody. Is this a piece from something, by the way? I don't know. Or if somebody can help me in the comments or something, let me know. Some classical piece, maybe. And yeah, that opens up a door in the back. There's also some magnum ammo here. I'm not sure how much it has. I think it's eight. Yeah, eight rounds. Not bad at all. I will give this to Billy for right now. Because we do. We do go in here and get. Oh, there's another alcohol bottle. You need to get this battery here. Astro battery. <laughs> uh, what? Don't I have enough space? Oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, damn it. Well, actually, let's go get the, the stuff in the other rooms first, and then we'll come back here and grab the battery. We do need that battery. Oh no! I might as well just use that first aid spray since it's there. No, oh, get off me! There you go. Back in good health. Thinking another leech zombie is gonna just spawn here for some reason. <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think so. Shouldn't. There's leeches though. 
So not that much of a threat unless you just stand there, of course. All right, Rebecca. Uh, give me the vice. I need the vice. Rebecca could just pop in and get the battery. The Astro battery. <laughs> and then this happens for some reason. Can you bring Billy in here? I wonder what would happen. Like, would you just be permanently stuck? No, I don't think so. I think you just you could just put the battery back in place and it will open. So yeah, I don't think there's a way to get per permanently stuck there and get a game over somehow. So yeah, you just play it again. And it's like stuck. It's, it's just a weird little puzzle, if you even want to call it that. Go. Let's regroup. Roger. Yeah, I'll call Rebecca back with this. <laughs> the leeches are crawling upon Rebecca's leg. Come on, Rebecca. Alright, in this room, uh, there's another tablet that we need for that observatory, but there's also also some zombies and items in here. Pretty useful stuff. I'll go alone. Roger. I like how she's just running away. Oh no, this isn't good. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, we were about to take damage, and I don't want to take unnecessary damage. Could have saved those rounds for a later boss, but... Eh. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. There you go, some goodies. Various machine parts. No, I don't want that. What could have they been building? I don't know, and I don't really care. Wait a minute, who has the shotgun shells? Rebecca? There we go. Okay. 21 shotgun shells. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. Now we get to use the vice. Over here on this stupid thing. It's, this vice is gripping a tablet. Well, luckily we have the vice handle. Why was that even there? Obedience. Alright, now we just need one more, and the last one's pretty easy to find. It's also Let's one of the, the safest Roger. one to find. <laughs> These other two are the hardest ones to find because you have to, like, fight your way to them. The last one, meh. Nah. Just push a box. No, really, I'm serious. <laughs> Uh, however, you do need it. You do need that battery that we just got in order to push that box. You'll see what I mean. But yeah, thankfully we found it. Just get the hell out of here. Actually, before we end the episode, um, we'll go ahead and put this tablet into the. Into the uh the slot Let's split the up. telescope okay. thingy. Hold on. Let me equip. I'll run a little bit faster. Whoa! No 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 no! Get away! Jesus! Why are they there? This is still in the same spot as when I left. It's kind of crappy. All 
All right, so I'm gonna put it in here, and in the next vid, we'll be getting the last Unity tablet and going to the next area of the game. Next half, actually. So I'll see you guys then.